Hello and welcome to Infinity. Let's have a look at using color ranges for selection. And this is by select color range and we select red, green or blue. Before we do it to this picture, let's go to another picture here so we can see a bit more detail what actually is happening. So if I go to here and say select color range and select reds, it's you can see here it's selected these it's kind of on the edges of this uh, these pictures here this fades from a color up to white from color to black and from color to gray as you can achieve with hsl these bands here are just red green and blue from white through to black with saturated in the middle the marching ants dotted lines you don't really tell you much of what actually is selected so a simple way to show that is if I do a control C and control V what I've done here I've done a copy and paste of that and put it up here I'll turn the selection off because I don't need this now if I turn the bottom layer off there you can see what is actually selected and it's not very much on these here it's just pieces at the edge and down here even when it threw to saturated here it didn't actually select everything but if it does has got something selected from the very very light through to the very very dark so let's put this one back on again uh, an important point here is that you, if you select red green and blue you're not going to get everything let's try it so if i say select color range and select greens and then i'll do a control c control v to put in a media green layer over here then select select color range and blues and that didn't work there because i had this layer selected always remember to select the layer uh, select select color range and select blues there we go control c control v and i'll just deselect everything there so now we can see if we turn off the bottom layer there we've got the the reds the greens and the blues all sort of selected and we've got these here but there's a lot of gaps in them and there's a lot of transparency with which means they're not fully selected why does it do this it's because it's trying to help you actually let's go back to here if we do now do select and color range and select reds um, we don't get any option as to what exactly is selected but um, this is what we see here is this so to see actually what is selected we could, could do a cut and paste but we're going to do it with slightly differently by putting a curves layer because we control it through that so when you click on curves it uses the, the selection to create a mask here now this is the curve we're getting up so if within this mask we can see it so if i alt click on this i can get rid of that those dotted lines now here we go we can see the whiter it is the more is selected so in those red flowers it's more white it's not fully white so a fair amount has been selected in the yellow flowers down here there is more in the greens and blues is hardly anything so that means that i can do something like play with curves but i'm not going to do it quite yet because i'm going to show you something else which is that what's the alternative so if i turn off this curves layer and say select select sampled color then if i've selected something up here you can see here where it is so if i do a Thing here uh, let's just take this one this is here I've got to uh, apply this first there we go then I'll do a um, curves here and again you can see the curve on this we'll take off the select D select here but what we should show here is the difference in the masking in other words what is selected from one or the other so if i alt click on that that's just with select sampled color see it's quite re restricted 
in there. You can increase the tolerance and it will select more. But if you go select greens, the, the select red, select sample color from this one, which we did color range there, this is what we get. We get a lot more selected. And it's, so it's something you're asking the computer to help out. You're asking Affinity to make a choice here for you. Just get me the reds, please. Don't faff around with this color of red or what hue or whatever. This will do. So it's kind of friendlier in, in what it's doing. So if we turn that off, in fact, we can take that layer and just delete it all together. We've used that. So we can turn this back on and we can bring the curves up here. Now I can adjust the red selected. And you can see here it has just an effect in those areas. Less so in the yellows, just a little bit because there's a little bit of those reds in there. And so we can then do things we can even we can add some more if you want to do the blue cell separately but remember of course this is not going to do the whole picture it's just what affinity selects from this so I say select blues which of course is going to be in the the purples here and a little bit are in, in the others as well and then if I put in a curves layer it will automatically use the selection to create a mask which you can see in there if I alt click that you can see what's being selected Let's deselect that so it's quite a bit more harsh than the reds because there are more reds scattered around whereas blues are more specific. So if we bring up this here, now if we use the curves on this, it's just going to affect those those purples there. So there we go, you can see what we did there. We overall select colour range and red, green and blue. Affinity will choose the area to affect. Uh, try and make it easier for you in doing this. Um, and if you select red, green and blue, you're not going to get the whole picture. Okay, there it is. And thank you very much for watching.